there was this really kind of slow black guy. I mean, like speed running. Talk as slow as you're talking now, slow or yeah. He's I mean, I mean, I guess that's that's slow. a common thing, but am I that there slow? Was this uh, really slow, slow guy? guy. <laughs> <laughs> Traumatization here. Okay, no, no, seriously though, so... Oh, I'm kind of all what happened. Oh yeah, anyways. He said it was his first time smoking weed, right? Oh, no. But, yeah, it was most definitely laced with some angel dust. I mean, at the same time, I wasn't sure if he really was just slow and the first time smoking weed just whacked him out of his mind. So... So Either basically, way, basically no me, joke, dude. I'm not gonna fuck with that shit. He ended up in someone else's house, right? And it was in this community. It was in a Pocono community. Um, it's <clears throat> like all these homes. Usually, people like uh, they'll have them to rent out too. But most people are from like New York, and they live there, so they commute. You know, so they're like nice houses and shit. Um, anyways. He thought it was his house. Yeah, after all this search. And he said he was so fucking whack that he started watching TV and staring at the TV and thought it was like a reality show or something. And then like some guy came in, he didn't know who the fuck he was, and they started fighting. But the best part about it was he was naked. <laughs> what are you doing naked in my house watching my TV? Why was he I naked? don't know. <laughs> I think I read about this story on the internet from the other perspective. Like it was a news report and they were talking about some guy broke into somebody else's house naked and just sat on the couch watching TV. I'm like, this is your friend. I'm hearing it from both sides. I don't know. Either that or he was lying about his actual charge. And he was probably a puffer. But he was a kid, so, you know, it made sense. Had to be, like, 19, 20. In that ballpark. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he was one of my cellmates. <laughs> Just one time at my buddy's house, one of his, uh... Stories from prison. One of his guests got so fucked up, he stripped nude and, like, started dancing around the fucking house until he ended up passing out. But before he passed out, he stashed, I don't know, some, some fucking ridiculous amount of cocaine somewhere. And nobody ever found it. No, uh, nobody ever found it. I bet you somebody did find it. We're like, well, oh yeah, I, I mean, if somebody finds it, nobody's gonna say, hey, I found this. I heard some good stories like that. I found some I cocaine! Remember, I, I taught that guy how to play poker. I never thought I would be able to teach him how to play poker. So, next week, he was down at the poker table and losing all of his soups. It was funny. Soups was like the, the currency? Yeah, he, he caught the jail, yeah. That's the currency. That's all there's to do is, is to gamble with soups. <laughs> what kind of soups? Like Nissen's? Well, that's usually, that's like the general currency. It's like however much soups are, it usually goes by soups. The ramen? You can put candy bars on the poker table. You know, don't get it wrong. I've seen tuna fish packets, candy bars. Everything works. You know, I didn't know until recently, actually, that tuna fish came in packets. Really? They have the nice little salmon packets. And they have tuna fish salad pre-made in packets. It's pretty good. They do. I wouldn't say it's really good, but it's something. This is pretty good. Bro, I've been in this world for... It's better than not starving to death, how's that? A good 20 minutes. This guy's got to be hiding. I, I don't know where the hell he is. Uh, he could I be didn't... using Chlamelion. You could travel through their entire world. No problem. It's like from Fire Shrine to Fire Shrine. Which actually, I mean, I guess using red eye orbs could be pretty useful if you want to get to know the map before you uh, actually play through. Mm -hmm. Jesus, where the fuck is this guy? Like, he's hiding. 
you think he would just fight me? It's been so long, man. I've been just no, running around. No, because he's one of those people like me who's been invaded by assholes too many times. He's pissed off. He's like, you know what? Next guy who comes in here, I'm going to make his life fucking miserable. Every, uh, maybe only twice in my Dark Souls experience have I been invaded by an honorable person whom actually waited for me to get done fighting a mob and then did, like, the slash bow in order to um, actually, like... What, did you find him? No, 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 that's... No, that's happened to me, you know? I've, I've gotten my... You know, it's like, hey, man, what's up, you know? I'm not fighting anybody. They would they would let me do that. I've seen some pretty weird things I, on invasions. I would, I would be the most gracious invader. Like, I would literally walk over there, I'd wait for them to get done fighting, I'd do the slash bow, and I'd be like, alright dude, let's duel, if I lose, I lose. And then so we'd fight to the death. Really huh? Ever. So you never really invade? Not ever? to be a douchebag. But you have invaded. No, I've actually never invaded. You've never invaded? I in three games, beating the game probably 20 times each, never invaded once. Oh, you're being sarcastic now. I'm not being sarcastic. I've never invaded anyone. Woof. What the hell is he saying? <laughs> like, what? No, I so said if, if I had invaded people, if I did invade people, I would be nice about it. But I have been invaded by people. Are you confused by... No. What no, I'm saying? I, I just, I'm confused that you put in... Probably, what would you say, close to going on four or five hundred hours on all four, the Dark Souls? Like four thousand hours. Four, wait, what? Four? Do I need to look this up? I have Are over, oh I have over four hundred hours in Dark Souls One. Holy shit! I have like two hundred, maybe three hundred hours in Dark Souls Two. Woo! And I have at least a hundred hours in Dark Souls Three. So. Yeah, I'm probably close to 2,000 hours entirely, if you're including the new Dark Souls Remastered and Dark Souls Scholar of the First Sin. You want to add up all the Dark Souls games, yeah. Ooh, I almost let him kill me. Jeez. No, don't do that. Yeah, guess what? And, and as I was running backwards to take an Estus, I just fell off of a cliff and died with the little bit of health that I had left. Not a cliff, it was actually just a little drop-off that I probably would have survived if I had just a speck more life. You died in the host world? Jesus. Yeah. Don't do that, man. That's... that's terrible. Why? Well, you're invading to murder, and you failed to murder. I know, it took forever, man. He just came out of nowhere. It was funny. Like, I finally see him, like, mid-conversation. I'm like, holy shit, oh, I finally found the... So it kind of caught me off guard. Like, I was so used to not finding him. Oh, well. Then he pops out and he's like, Gotcha, bitch! I'm trying to use a shield butcher knife combo. Because I, real I realize the butcher knife is more like a sword. It's better, but it still doesn't deal barely as much damage using it as a one hand compared to the great sword. It's still quick, though. That's really the main thing. Its speed is a lot superior. You know, so I realize somebody as fast as me would have a better time fighting. When you roll, uh, does it have, like, a good... Yeah. Like, roll and attack, does it do, like, a big swing? It should. Hold on. Yeah. Man, just roll towards them and then do the big swing. And if they don't time their roll right, they get hurt. 